Did he identify himself to you, sir? No, no, that's right, no. No, I don't have to. Yo, yes, you do. No, sir, I'm not an officer. I don't have to. Yo, you work for the city, sir. Inmate, sir. You can't record the inmate, sir. You can't record the inmate, sir. That's about that. No, how you doing? No, nothing. You're in public, sir. You ain't even a real police, man. You don't know the Constitution for sure. You can tell them what to do, but you ain't telling me what to do, dog. Risk management. Hey. Hey, uh, I was talking to the marshal downstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find out where I can identify a city worker. I don't even know if I'm in the right place. I've never done it before. I have no idea how it works. Um, he was managing an inmate work crew on Green Street. And he tried to criminalize what I do, which is photography and videography. And he wouldn't, I asked him his name, he wouldn't identify. He had a City of Augusta shirt on. He tried to prevent me from filming on the sidewalk. The only place that you probably can do that, how would he identify a city worker? He was trying to find out who. I, 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 and what was the, I didn't hear everything, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm a videographer, mm -hmm. investigator, journalist. I was on Green Street on the sidewalk filming an inmate work crew. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, there was a city worker managing these inmates. These are GDIC inmates. Um, there's about seven of them. And as I was walking up, I was talking to a, a Reverend Booker who lives on Green Street. And I don't know if y'all know who that is. But anyway, he walks up to me. You can't film out here. You can't film the inmates. That's totally not true. I can film anywhere that's publicly accessible. But he tried to interfere with my First Amendment right. Mm -hmm. And I, he wouldn't identify. I asked him what his name was. He said, he's not telling me. He had a city book has a shirt on. I got a video of him. I can show anyone who can identify, only the person that can identify him. Because it's confidential footage right now and the story hasn't been well, published. I don't know how, I mean, I don't know. So if you don't have like a department he worked with. Right. Or, That's, I mean, yes. I don't know how, because I mean, we have, you know, 2,600 employees. Oh so my God. I can't, Just, you know, yeah. we, we know what we work with every day. So right. I'm not sure right. how, I'm gonna let you talk without you Sean, knowing right? what department he worked in, I'm not, because even like HR, they're not going to know who, you know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 2,600 employees. Yeah, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of people. So. I understand. I totally there, understand. There's no person that I know who's going to know everybody in the county. So are you familiar with, with their dress code? Because I'll show it to you real quick as we get on the fast forward through that. I can't fast forward through it. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We might. Because even his 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 shirt might would tell you the department possibly. Mo, oh, he he um, he was very defensive and aggressive, and um, I, I felt threatened by him. He got really super close, and he made me so nervous that I was shaking and I and I couldn't uh, I wasn't paying attention to if he had a name tag on. I didn't see one in the video, but yeah, just walking along doing some public photography, filming the inmates working, just telling a little story about how to keep downtown Augusta clean and what have you. And so he's gonna, he's gonna walk up to me in just a minute. Okay. He's right down here, that's him. This is just raw footage. Yeah, pretty good shots, pretty good shots there. To continue to keep this line open, you'll have to deposit the quarter. That's uh, an operator, don't lose it. An operator! Oh, an operator. <laughs> Did you deposit the quarter? Mr. And this man went and got the phone numbers and everything. He's got a city of Augusta shirt on, too. City of Augusta shirt. Oh, but see, he's got on that vest. Yeah, that's the problem. And and I don't recognize him, and I've been here 30 years. Oh, wow. So, um, but that don't mean anything, because people come and go and whatever. I, yeah. I don't, let's see, I, I don't recognize him. I filed a complaint with the GDIC. Mm -hmm. uh, because he this he's a city worker and he shouldn't be managing Department of Corrections inmates. That's very unsafe in a residential area. And that's that's going to be one of the the caveats to the story. Hey, how you doing? 
and uh, the the second part is identifying him, yeah. which is what I'm doing now. So all of this will be part of my story. Yeah, I don't. I don't so I appreciate you guys' professionalism, by the way, and not freaking out over my cameras. Thank you for that. Thank you. Well, I mean, <laughs> where would better. I where would I start though? I don't know. I'm even trying to think. The because we have several departments that oversee grass cutting, mm -hmm. but I would think the main department I would think of first. I mean, see if you think of this, Chris, is engineering. Engineering with that with that type of shirt on more than likely. Uh, yeah, would be where I would start. I think engineering okay. over in the old AT and T building on Walker. Walker is that Street. Walker Street? Okay. Well, I think engineering would be the place to start. Yeah. But I, I, that's just a. He called 911, and, and I was waiting for the deputies, um, but they're not going to. They all know who I am. They're not going to come down, come out and mess with me. Uh, I make a lot of videos about them, a lot of them. Yeah, there's multiple departments. Some, yeah, some we, have, that's the some thing. Have we have employees that are trained through RCCI to mm -hmm. handle inmates. Okay, so the, oh, yeah, so yeah. so so it's common that city yes. workers manage. Okay, yes. I didn't know that. That's that's news to me. So so yeah, they're, they're unarmed because according to the Georgia Department of Corrections, there has to be an armed officer. That, well, I don't know what the guidelines is on with them. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, there are multiple employees gotcha. that are assigned inmate crews that are trained through RCCI. Human resources. Welcome. Please come in. We're here to serve. Good morning. How are you? Super. I am in desperate need of some help identifying a city employee. Is there any way you can help me? <laughs> uh, no, sir. That would be the marshal's office. Hey, how y'all doing? Can I ask y'all a question? I'm trying to identify a city employee. Is this the right place or am I in the wrong place? How are you trying to identify him? He had tried to make photography a crime on the sidewalk out here a couple days ago while he was managing the inmate crew. And he wouldn't identify, so I'm trying to figure out who he is. You mean he was with the town? Or was he had a, a city of Augusta jacket and shirt on. He had a he had a coat on, so it was really hard. But he looked it, it looked like he was a city employee. If this man an inmate crew, that'd be one of the. I would think they'd have to have uh, yeah, the the prisoner or something. But um. yeah, it was a GDIC inmate work crew in blue stripes. A city worker was managing them. There was a preacher named Mr. Booker. It was over on Green Street. You can go up and talk to the HR department, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to help you with that. If it was out of the. Uh, prison out on the back of road with him. They may not have the information on them. Those are city employees, but they, they're yeah. hired through the state, so. Really? Yeah. Okay. I've already went to the marshal's office. They don't know who this guy is. He works for the city of Augusta. Mm -mm. I mean, um, I, there's no way I would be able. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's no way out. Because if you had a picture, they would be able to identify him in the marshal's office. Really? Okay, well, I went to risk management. They told me to come here. All right, because I'm I just now went to the marshal office. I'm picking up some personnel files, some of the police officers. Okay. Um, and they don't they don't know. They're trying to explain it like it's a city worker in charge of medium security prison inmates, which is a which is a should be a concern to anyone. And now, but he I had an issue with him, and now no one knows who he well, is. What is the marshal's department telling you? Because I mean, normally if you have at least what information did you give them? Uh, to just verify if that's an employee. Just, just this picture. Yeah, see, we we would here in HR, uh -huh. we wouldn't have that information. Gotcha. As far as a picture, we okay. wouldn't have that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I know she told me at uh at risk management, y'all had twenty six hundred employees, and I'm thinking, oh my god. But anyway, the, he was harassing me. Well, I would check either back with the marshal's department or go to the sheriff's department. 